Happy Monday, boys and girls. I am so happy to be here and we are officially starting our distance learning. And those of you who have not been joining in on our Zoom meetings or doing anything in regards to investigating the past, our ELA unit that we are in right now is about the past. So we are going to be reading some stories about animals of the past, people of the past. And today we're gonna to be reading a story about the Tynosaur, like a tiny dinosaur. All right, so the story here we can see is a fictional story. Why do we think it's fiction? Let's think about that for a second. Fiction means fake, right? So this story obviously isn't about a real dinosaur. It's about a fake dinosaur, but it might be about some real things that maybe dinosaurs dealt with. So let's see. The story is called The Dinosaur, written by Stephen Cosgrove, illustrated by Carolyn Laporte. The Dinosaur. Once the earth was nothing more than one big swamp. Think about the word swamp. Swamp. A swamp is mucky water, like dirty water, not so clear, not the ocean, but warmer water. There were no people. There were no roads, no houses. The land was filled with dinosaurs, big and bigger, mostly bigger. There were supersaurs and bronchiosaurs and brontosaurus. All of them were big, very, very big. The biggest of the big were the ultrasaurs. They were so big that the word big is not big enough. They lived in a big world. Life was fairly easy for the big dinosaurs. There were big plants to eat and big lakes and rivers to drink from. Life was good for the big dinosaurs. As big as the big dinosaurs were, there were those that were small. In fact, they were smaller than small. They were tiny. These little creatures were called tinosaurs. They would run here and there looking for food. The best food was large walnuts. Walnuts are a type of nut, my friends. They come in a shell and they're very hard to crack. The walnuts are bigger than even they were. There's a picture of the walnuts. The dinosaurs would feast. Think of the word feast on nuts and eat, eat. Let's think feast. Feast means to eat. The dinosaurs would feast on the nuts and eat and eat. While they ate, they would watch out for the supersaurs. For if a dinosaur were stepped on by a supersaur, it would be super sore indeed. The word sore means to hurt. Things would have just stayed this way for millions and millions of years, but something very scary happened. It all started one day. A triceratops went lumbering by, just scared as scared could be. The ice is coming, the ice is coming, he cried. Ice? asked the theropod. Ice would be nice on a hot summer's day, but ice wasn't nice. It wasn't nice at all. It was the coming of an ice age. Who knows what an ice age is? Think about that for a second, an ice age. An ice age is where the land is covered with ice. All of it with ice. There's no land, just ice. It wasn't long before it began to get colder and colder and colder. The theropods could see great mounds of ice glaciers creeping down the mountains. We must move from here, said the theropods. We must escape to somewhere warmer. And with little thought or planning, they began moving away from the ice. But the dinosaurs were too small to escape. Their legs were too short and they could never run far enough. What are we to do? One dinosaur asked another. 
If we stay here, we'll be covered with ice. They thought and thought, big plans for little creatures. We must find some place to stay warm, one finally said to another. A place where we can hide from the ice, the other said in return. I have an idea, said the first one. He quickly told them of his plan. Follow me. With that, he searched about and found a large walnut shell. The other dinosaurs did the same. What do you think they're going to do with those walnut shells? Are they going to build something? Hmm. They ate the meat inside until there were only hollow shells left. The word hollow, hollow means empty. So here is a hollow shell without any meat. There's no nut inside. Now it's just the shell. Then one by one, they each climbed inside the shell. They twisted and curled themselves inside and then pulled the top down tight. What do you think they're gonna do? I think they might roll since their legs are short, maybe? Safe and warm in the hard shells, they fell fast asleep. They slept as the earth turned cold. Sadly, all the other dinosaurs became extinct during the ice age. The word extinct, we've talked about that before when we learned about our animal unit. Extinct means to not live anymore. So there are several animals that are on the extinction list but dinosaurs became completely extinct during the Ice Age. They weren't able to live. They didn't have food or anything to keep them alive. It was too cold. The dinosaurs slept and slept, waiting for the ice to melt. And in time, it did. After the ice melted and the days became warm all over the world, dinosaurs crawled out of their walnut shells. But to this day, some dinosaurs remain asleep in their shells. If you're lucky, someday you might crack open a walnut shell and there might be a dinosaur fast asleep. Well, if we think about that, we might think about it being a fable or something that's fake because when we open up walnut shells, are they really filled with dinosaurs? I don't know. But something that is true about that story is that the dinosaurs did become extinct from the Ice Age. So that's something that is nonfiction about the story. But the fiction part is that were dinosaurs really real? And think about that. After you're done watching this video, make sure that you go back to Google Classroom and that you go to our weekly schedule and go take the quiz on the dinosaur story that we read. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow in the video of the story that we read. And I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Bye, you guys. I'll see you later.